and welcome to Crystal's Bites. I am Crystal Newman. Now today we happen to be at Le Chateau Brasserie Belge and I'll be meeting Chef Ernest. We have a couple of exciting dishes that we'll be making together. There's a salad. He hasn't told me exactly what's going into the salad but I know there's something about cheese and I love my cheese. Also we'll be making a dry aged steak and a hamburger using prime beef. Now today I just discovered that prime beef is very different from the meat you find in most butcheries. Also, you would think that in Uganda, organic food grows everywhere, but do you know there's a difference between so-called what we assume is organic food and certified organic? So we'll be finding out more about that when we head in to do a little bit of shopping at Le Gourmet Delicatessen. I am Crystal, welcome to the show, and let's get cooking. Hello, Ernest? Yes, please. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? You're going to teach me some good stuff. Exactly. So what do we need for our shopping list? Okay. What are our ingredients? Okay. First of all, we are going to first shop for the cheese, which we are going to have for, for our salad. Okay. Then from there, we'll go shop. We, we are going to get directly our meat from the ager. Mm -hmm. yes, okay, yes, from the ager. Exactly. We need to understand what an ager is. Ager. It's, it's a exactly. fancy fridge, you'll see. It's a fancy fridge mm -hmm. for aging professional meat. Uh -huh. yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Then from there, we'll come and shop from our organic from the organic section okay. while we shop for the organic tomatoes organic leaf lettuce organic onion everything organic everything organic yes please <laughs> okay how are you so this is locally made here there's so much variety of cheese i must say it's cheddar okay and the ricotta here it's, it's this also is also made. freshly made freshly made mm -hmm. Uganda, yes, please. okay yeah. Pleasure meeting you. It's a pleasure meeting you, Krista. Uh -huh. Aha! The first time. Um, the first time I came here, I looked at that fridge. Yes. And it looks like a work of art. Yeah. The first of its kind in Uganda. You can explain okay. what does dry aged meat? What what does that entail? Okay. Uh, dry aged meat mm -hmm. is meat that is aged over time. Mm -hmm. We do at least twenty eight days. Uh, the main purpose of this, we try to add flavor. Okay. We give it uh, we give it an opportunity to gain natural flavor, tenderness, and also the juiciness. Okay. A lot of people, you know, think about fresh meat first, and yeah. they're like, "Oh, you know, you can't leave meat, you can't mm. let it last long." So, yeah. what makes dry aged steak or okay. meat safe? That it uses Himalayan salt. Oh, so it's a special salt. Yes. The Himalayan salt keeps the meat fresh. Mm -hmm. It absorbs the moist, but keeps the Juiciness and tender in it. And I see it says 28 days. Yes, for example. It feels oh, this is actually very, very it tender. Through. Yeah. So we do have the, this is the salad. Mm -hmm. And we're also doing the T-bone steak. And this um, is aged for 28 days. Also here. As you can see, we can also do the rocks, the whole rocks. Yeah. Aged and then we slice them. Himalayan salt has been used to uh, preserve meat by ancient Europeans, mm -hmm. okay, but because they keep on adding value to whatever they do, they've built a whole chamber. Yes, so yes. the salt, as you've seen, keeps the meat uh, moist free. So okay. it doesn't allow decay. Yes. yes, okay, okay. Something that you've made uh, very clear mm. is you know, we see here prime beef and the Duroc prime pork. Yeah, sure. What does prime mean? Okay, so mm -hmm. what we call it prime is because of the value chain. Okay. We're sourcing this uh, beef from our own farm. Okay. It's located in Movende, mm -hmm. where our mother had is best, of purely Boran cattle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, the cattle, the mother had gets us the calves that we graze for 10 months. Mm -hmm. Then after 10 months, we give them a strict diet of uh, organic green pastures and corn. And through that uh, process, we are able to, to get uh, beef that has marbling white fat, not yellow fat. Marbling white fat? Yes. Wow. Now, mm -hmm. So from that, we are able to produce 
prime steak, which is more juicy, more tender than ordinary steak. That is more, um, of course, cost friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, um, what I always tell my customers and clients is that you might look at buying steak at uh, 20,000. Mm -hmm. as expensive yes but you buy ordinary steak from a roadside butcher that will lead you to a hospital where you're going to pay five hundred thousand for a medical bill so it's very cost friendly mm -hmm. and we hope um we can change the face of the beef industry in uganda mm -hmm. using this kind of approach okay yeah. okay yes. so it's being able to monitor the entire process yes. so you can guarantee what is actually put on the plate yes One of the things I've seen is um, you have a lot of products that, well, produce, should I say, that is certified organic. But I've also seen a few signs that say organic grade. Yes. So what's the difference between the two? Okay. Uh, certified organic are the products that are organic and grown, with, followed with organic standards. And they have a certification acquired from certification bodies. Okay. And these bodies are international bodies that are certified. And the difference between the certified organic and the organic option means that the, the organic option are the farmers that, that practice organic practices. They do organic, o, o, organic standards, but they have not yet acquired the certification. So they cannot be, you know, called organic certified. Okay. although they follow the methods of organic farming. And it takes quite a few years before you can get that certification. Exactly, exactly. It takes quite a long time. In most cases, for vegetables and fruits, uh, it takes about two years, but that means that the land has not been sprayed before the two years of production. Mm. So while you go through all those years to get rid of all the, the chemicals that must have gone to the soils, you can not declare yourself as certified organic. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. We are happy to have this kind of thing here in Uganda because most of them have been just exporting. Exactly. And we haven't home, been enjoying. Yes. Now we can. At home, we were just eating what everybody else was growing anyhow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we have a chance to have the selected certified organic stuff for us here. We want to taste like a, the tomatoness of a tomato, the beefness of a beef, <laughs> the chickenness of a chicken. I like it. <laughs> the chickenness of a chicken. Okay, so I'm getting ready. My hair is not allowed in the kitchen. Great look, yeah? Okay. And. So for the salad, we have our baby mozzarella, we have black olives, cherry tomatoes, what else are we using? And of course, oh, oh, we have the organic arrows, mm -hmm. the English cucumbers, the onion, mm -hmm. and the puree tomatoes. Alright, there we go. So, here we are with our treat eight. Dry aged rums. 28 days, yes, so yes. What we are going to start with, we are going again also to increase more of its tenderness and business. We are going to massage it with uh, our, this is our chewed olive oil, cured okay. with rosemary, garlic, and roasted pepper. Wow. So, black pepper corn. Okay, yes. okay. So, so plenty of black pepper. I'm going to put the salt on only bit, one yeah, side. Eh? A little bit, yeah. Just well, a little bit. emphasize that sea salt is much better. Sea salt, huh? to be, Yes, please. Oh, okay. Then our special cured olive oil. Olive oil. <laughs> so it really, really enters and you get the flavors from the olive oil. From here. <laughs> now, now do we go straight to the grill? To the grill part of it. Okay. Again, our pure old boy. Uh-huh. Mm. Smells good already. 
Ya. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay, you don't have to. You don't have to wait a bit. Yeah, you don't have to wait a bit. Okay. This is really, really hot. How long does it take? It's supposed to take from you. It's supposed to take five minutes, according to the French tradition of preparing the dry egg in yes, a bit. Yes, yes, yes. On the grill, we are supposed. To, it's supposed to take five minutes. Then we are supposed to put it for over ten minutes in the oven. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. So five minutes. Then from there, we'll be taking it like this. Turn that over again. So what you have is on the outside, it's nicely browned yeah. and crisp. Yeah. Turn it over once more. We we'll keep on like a plate and get a couple of times, then we ship this out. Okay. So there's no leaving the steak. Yeah. Must be proactive. Then from there, we'll again put it back on the grill. And the, the reason why we put it back from the grill, that's when we make the final preparation according to the customer's temperature order, yes. Yeah, some would go like a from rare, medium rare, medium, medium, medium rare. This is a dry age. I think I'd like my medium rare. Perfect. Medium. Oh, perfect. We transfer it to its flat. Okay. As you can see, it is perfectly medium rare. Yes. Just the way I like it. Ah, uh, so. Oh, look yeah. at how pretty. The yeah. presentation is beautiful. It's beautiful. It yes. goes perfect with Abdi garlic butter. Okay. Um, we have made our 28 day dry aged steak. It's medium rare, the way I like it. And I've got my Belgian fries. Mm, okay. So I think it's only right. Have some steak with some of the butter that goes with it. So I'll add just a little bit of that. I feel like I need to chew in slow motion. Seriously, it's like, oh, this is so beautiful. And it's so soft. It is so tender. I can't get over how tender it is. We're talking about the flavor of the meat. It just comes through. I think it's only right when you have dipping sauces on the side. You're digging a little bit to that. I think that it is um, very flowerful and uh, soft. I could not expect that it was uh, dry and uh, quite juicy. It's uh, very nice. These are all good words. Juicy, uh, really tender, flavorful. So um, you've tried the 28-day dry aged steak. What do you think? What's your take on it? Flavorful. It's very well done, as in perfectly done. It has the moisture that it should. Oh, very nice. Thank you so much. Oh, well, this is good. So make sure you tune in for the next episode on my YouTube channel, Crystal and Newman Crystals Bites. <laughs>